You don't have to wait until you feel like to start using feng shui. I advise people to use feng shui as early as possible in their process. What process? It's called life. You can use feng shui to support all aspects of your life. I'm a feng shui consultant and I use it every day in my life so that I can live my best life. Feng shui helps with my overwhelm and anxiety and brings me back to a zen place. It helps me decide what to wear so I feel my best when I show up in the world and meet clients. Feng Shui helps me determine where to even sit when I'm in a meeting, so I feel calm, focused, and powerful. As you can tell, I love Feng Shui, and I love it because it's a powerful, low-cost, often no-cost tool. And I'm gonna tell you today how to utilize it. I'm Susan Chan, certified Feng Shui consultant, helping you create a beautiful and intentional space and a beautiful, intentional life. If you wanna learn about all things Feng Shui related set in the beautiful city of Paris, Subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications for when I publish new videos about living in an intentional feng shui life. I'll be referencing China a lot in this video because that's where many feng shui principles originated and I'll help you translate these ancient principles so you can use them in your modern everyday life. In ancient China, you wouldn't do anything without using feng shui if you knew what was good for you. The emperor would use feng shui to choose who he would marry, where he would live, and what he should be doing so that he can become smarter, richer, and luckier to better serve his people. Feng Shui was used to choose plots of land where empires and family homes were built. So using Feng Shui for your new beginnings is great, like when you're moving or looking to buy or rent a new home. If you're looking for a new office space, you can definitely use Feng Shui. In ancient China, Feng Shui was used to choose the plot of land to bury emperors and our loved ones. So using feng shui in all your endings is ideal as well. If you're at the ending part of a situation, such as leaving a job, ending a marriage or relationship, or moving homes, use feng shui. Feng shui can make these processes easier and potentially less stressful, since it can prove how you feel and invite in more positive energy and thinking. And get this, if you already feel great about your life, you can still use feng shui. Feng shui just doesn't have the potential to make lousy things better, it can also enhance the great things already happening in your life. So think of your life right now. What's going well? Wouldn't you want to bring more of that juiciness into other parts of your life? So the bottom line is folks, use feng shui every day. Feeling stuck and don't know where to start? Watch this video for three tips on how to get unstuck and subscribe to my channel to learn more about living an intentional feng shui life. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity.